What's up, Peak Timers? This is the brand new Aston Martin Vulcan, and today we are racing it up against six Super GT cars. We're gonna find out how many the Aston Martin Vulcan can beat. Make yourself an official Peak Timer by hitting that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn those notifications on so you don't miss an upcoming video. And here's our first matchup. First, let's have a look at that Aston Martin Vulcan. Beautiful new casting from Hot Wheels. Big wing on the back of it to keep that car on the ground. Check it out from the front. Great details from the front. We'll see how many of the Super GT cars the Aston Martin Vulcan can beat. And first up, it is going against the Corvette C7R. Check it out in this nice looking yellow color. Big wing there for that downforce as well. Blacked out wheels. Let's get race number one started. On your mark, get set, go. And the Corvette C7R takes the win in race number one to put the Super GT cars up one to nothing. But next up, we've got the Mercedes AMG GT3. Check it out. Blue color Hot Wheels race team. I love the black wheels with that color lip on there. Very nice detailed paintwork on it. Let's go ahead and see if it can beat the Vulcan in race number two. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And race number two, the Mercedes takes the win to put the Super GT cars up two to nothing against the Vulcan. But now we've got the Ford GT race going up against the Vulcan. Let's have a look at it. We've got it in this nice looking white color, black wheels. We've got the blue trim on the bottom looking really good, really fresh. Huge wing and diffuser on that thing. Let's see what it can do in our third race. Here we go, race number three. On your mark, get set, go! Looks like the Ford GT broke down halfway during this race. Ford GT race breaks down during its race, giving the easy win to the Aston Martin Vulcan. But now we've got the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo on the track, let's see what it can do. Let's see the car first. We've got it in this green color with the gray wheels, the nice Lamborghini logo on the side of it. Great looking tampa work on the front for those headlights. Big wing and diffuser on there for this race car. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go! And the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo takes the win, putting the Super GT cars up three to one. Now we've got the Ferrari FXX going up against that Aston Martin Vulcan. Let's have a look. This one is red, of course, for the Ferraris with the white stripe down there, the FXX logo on the back of that wing. Nice chrome wheels on this one, which is different from most of the others. Let's go ahead and get race number five started. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And it's the Ferrari FXX, which takes the win, putting the Super GT cars up four to one. Now the Vulcan is going up against the big king, the McLaren F1 GTR. Let's see if the Vulcan can have a little bit of redemption in our last race, or is it just gonna lose it all together? Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. And there you have it guys, the Aston Martin Vulcan was only able to beat the Ford GT race which broke down on the track and it lost five out of the six races. There are all your winning cars facing forward, the Ford GT facing the wall as the loser. Sorry Aston Martin Vulcan, you're not that fast. But let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite car of these ones that race today.